Okay, today I'm going to show you how to make a and an easy TV antenna. Um, I am able to get UHF and VHF from this antenna. Um, uh, how far I was able to pick up from the TV station, I can pick up as far as about 35 miles. That's as far as I can go. Um, and it's pretty easy, simple. What's really important about this, though, you're going to need a ballum. Um, this is like $2. And then I got a bunch of roach. Grr, my battery ran out. Um, so it's a stainless steel uh, roach clips. And on this side here, um, it's about close to 9 uh, some channels I have to take one off so it's 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 eight and a half and it's one two three four five five and some channels I have to put one extra for six on this side here I have to put seven in so it's like six and seven but some channels I don't really need it but it actually improved the signals putting one extra um, here, the spacing on that is one and one fourth. I space out a little bit so I can clip this, but the, between here, you have to make sure it's one and one fourth, and that's why I put the. See how I I, I put this in here to make it close to each other, so it'll be one and one fourth of an inch. Um, uh, the this here is from a, a grill. Um, this is like a dollar store thing. They come into two and you're supposed to put your meat on top of it and put it on the grill. Um, or whatever you want to grill on like on your stove top or whatever. You can do that too. I just put it on a piece of wood. Oh shoot. And if you look at it, I just screw it on and I just screw it on just for the backing of it. And then I made this base right here swirl. Uh, it was from a paper towel, but I made it so it can make it like a stand. You see that? And basically, um, you have to make them in like a V shape. Okay? Very important that it has to be in a V shape. I try straight forward. It, it doesn't work as good. Um, but the V shape is good. And basically, these are just made out of junk. Um... I have also tried with steak knives too, and that actually works. I have also tried it with um, uh, forks. See that? And it works okay. I mean, you have to tweak it a little bit. Um, about these antennas, it's like real estate. <laughs> you have to like put in a certain way, like see this right here? I have to put on top of that. I have to lift it up like this. At nighttime, I have to put them on the ground. Funny thing is, if I put them on the ground, it works better at night. But during the day, I have to lift up a little bit. And I am on the second floor. Um, so, I don't know how high that is. I would say 12, 13, 14, 16, 17. About 18 feet high. Around 16, I would say, because the basement is kind of tall. So I would say about two, three feet up, and then the floor, uh, about 12 feet high. So 12 plus 4, so about 16 plus like maybe another foot, so 17 or 18 feet high from the ground. Uh, we are on a hill, so I don't know how high that is. I haven't checked that out. But that's what it looks like. Pretty easy to build. Um, I just put a little tape here to tape that up to hold the wire because you can't, you know. Oh, also important too. If you try to put the ballon in, this is the transformer. I'll, I'll put them on the description and you can, you, can, you can search for that if you need to buy it. It's like $2. You can get them like from China or something for like 99 cents. But I got them for $2. Um, you see this right here? I think Walmart sells them too. Uh, I saw them at Home Depot for five dollars. So if you you can't wait, then you just go to Home Depot and get it. Uh, here, I just put the two screws in so I can put the the.
the Balanin. Um, but it, the important thing is that if you can't get it, if you can't get a certain channels or whatever, and you're not working right or something, switch this. I, I have seen a lot of videos, and people never mention that. Like for me, I switch it, and I got certain channels. When I don't switch it, I don't get a certain channels. I'm like, huh? That's kind of weird. So when I switch a certain way, I was able to get this way right here, even though it sits this way. I was able to get a lot of channels by doing like this right here. So remember, okay, when you when you make your antenna and if you don't get an improvement on, 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 on channels or whatever, switch these two. Just instead of putting it over here, put it over here instead and vice versa, okay? That is very important. No one actually mentioned that whatsoever. And it does make a difference. Because I believe, because the, the, it has to sit a certain way in order for the, for the frequency, I, I guess, to, to, to capture it in a certain way. And because this is like, it's, it's, it's like, it takes all the signals and, 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 it, and it squeezed down to um, uh, 75, uh, 75 to 300 ohms. And because the signal is so high, uh, you have to remember, we are on, like, we got Wi-Fi around, we got cell phones around, we got all this stuff around. So it's it, because UHF and VHF, it goes to 800 megahertz from, I believe, uh, well, on if you look on the on the cable thing, it says from five to one thousand megahertz. But then it can't go to eight hundred meg megahertz because eight mega me eight hundred megahertz is is those little phones. So it has to be below that. I'm I'm not one hundred percent sure what is. I I know it's below eight hundred megahertz, but I'm not sure how it is. I I checked it earlier, but I just forgot now. But anyway, you can search that on your own anyway. Um. As far as I remember, like six six sixty seven megahertz or something like that, on 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 the higher channels, um, but that's not one hundred percent sure. Okay, but other than that, all I know it's it's below eight hundred. Um, so that's why they they step that down to 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 regulate it, sort of like regulating it. I don't know what the word for it either, but that's how I understand it. Um, anyway. I am going to show you the channels and then like I said sometimes I have to step it up I can't I can't even though I made this to stand up this way it won't work standing up that way I have to lean it like I have to lean it this way downward like that like that and then on some channels I have to lean it just to stand up like this oh sorry just to stand up like that and that's how I get some channels. But most of the channels I'd be able to lay it like this. Downward. Like that. And then at nighttime, I have to put them all on the floor. So my understanding of things is that I guess because the signal goes up and then it and it drops down. Because it, it might be the curvature of the earth, or it might be the earth sucking the 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 the, 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 the frequency downward. So it goes upward and then it goes downward. So at nighttime, if I drop them on the floor like that, lay it on the floor, I get better signals. Sometimes I just put them on the floor just like that. I get all the channels. So I'm been, I've been experimenting and it is, I think that's what I'm, I'm gearing towards too. I've been experimenting a lot. You see up there, there's tons of crap there. But anyway, um, I've been trying to make antennas because... Um, uh, my gram, uh, she doesn't, she no longer have cable. Um, she doesn't watch them enough to have, like, paying, like, a lot of money for them. So, uh, this is the way I, I just keep myself busy, I guess, from, from TV. So, that's how I did it. But, just remember, just, these are just roach clips. And, like I said, um, you can do five and five and certain channels you can you get really nice and clear channels out of just five here and five here which is eight and a half inches long and then you would have to put one extra uh depending on where you are you have to get one extra there and you can search for all the channels from 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 tvfool.com i'll link in the in the description as well so you can you can do that 
But anyway, I'm going to pause the video and then I'm going to sh I'm going to shoot my TV. Okay, I'm going to start with channel two. I'm going to lower this down a little bit so I, you can hear me talking. And you can see it's crystal clear right there. Now channel 4A, no channel 4, I'll show you that in a minute how I tweak that. Channel 5, I'll be able to get those. 5-2. I can't get 7 because like I said until night time I'll be able to get those channels. Um, from scanning this I was able to get about 16 channels on 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 this on this little antenna right here so it's dependent on where your regions are uh where you live um some of these channels i won't be able to get until like night night time like i don't know what's going on with night time but as far as i can i can tell it's between 11 and 7 o'clock uh, I don't know what it is between 11 and 7 o'clock yet. Uh, but those, sometimes I get those really clear channels. I won't be able to get any of these right now because it's pretty far. But that's pretty close right there, channel 5001. This is pretty far. This channel's 56 right there is pretty far. Uh, now this is pretty close. That's 6001. That's a Spanish channel. And then 62.2 and then 6.3 and then 60, 66.4 and if I press on the info, see how it listed right there, it's air, see it, it's air TV, let me press it again. And it shows you the time and everything right there. Uh, I'm surprised it actually tells you the, the, the guide and everything too on this. But anyway, that's what it looks like. Now I'm going to show you um, channel 4, what I do to it to get channel 4. Okay, right now I get nothing, okay. I am going to hold the camera while I adjust this. Now I'm going to move up. And see, somewhere there, see, I was able to get that channel when I move up a little bit. Remember my thing there that I had, the, um, remember the, see right here right now, somewhere there. See, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not getting it right now because I have to do, I have to do a little balancing, but there, um, there see now I'm able to get that but if I am able to get that channel then I lose the other ones so that's channel 4 somehow these two channels are together if I am able to get channel 4 I'd be able to get channel 4 1 or 4 2 right there and if I go to 5 then I lose 5-2, remember I was able to if I get 5-2 before. 7, I, like I said, I won't get that until later on. These are really like, that's from, from another, um, another antenna that I made. So I kept all these channels because I don't want to lose them. Um, but during my scanning of, of things, I was able to get all these with another antenna. But that's, that's just a simple, uh, I would say... I would, I would probably, from my guess, I probably get about 30, 30, 40 miles away. So any of these channels are 30 to 40 miles away. I be able to get them, like right now, because my antenna is not the right way. I won't be to get these channel before I was able to get these. Remember uh, earlier, but watch. I'm going to, I'm going to put it down, lay down, and boom. See that? Now I'll be able to get those channels. But when I lift it up, I was only able to get channel 4. Channel 66, 1, 6, 2. I'll be able to get all these now. So 
you have to, like I said, it's like real estate. You have to find your location. And that's very important. And see, I wasn't even to get two now. I have to, I have to play with it again. But once you, you have to sit there and you have to play with it. And check out tvfool.com. I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to go to uh, my... Okay, so now I'm at the TV antenna. I'm going to show you from one thing. Check out tvfool.com. Remember how I said, in order for me to get channel 41 and 42, I have to put it on here. So it's kind of slant like this. Like that. In order for me to get to channel 4. Like that. And then the rest of the channels, I have to lay them down like this. Like that. So those are the two things. But anyway, I'm going to show you. Uh, go to tvfool.com. And then you're going to have to make a piece of paper like this. And that's the true, that's the true east right now. That's east, that's west, and that's north, and that's south. And my antenna sits just like that right there. And the two point goes that way. You see that? So I, I kind of like, uh, for four, for four, for four, Four, one, and seven. It has to see that the two little thing right there has to sit this way. So I kind of has to switch a little bit in order to. I, I I'm gonna get some kind of swirl and I'm gonna make it. So, but anyway, that's just a simple thing right now for now. But a, as you can see, you can just made out of of, of 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 roach clips. And then what's good about it? What's good about it? If you don't get certain channel, you just unclip this. Remember, okay. I have experimenting eight, eight and a half inches. I go low on that, I get nothing. I tried it with four. Sometimes I do try to get with four. I can't get it out of there. So like, but the best, the best thing for this is eight and a half. So if you take your ruler and you make the roach clip, make sure it's eight and a half right there. It's about there. And right now it's at nine, but it's good at eight and a half. So when you clip it, you make sure it's eight and a half inches long. Um, you can go a nine, but as far as I know, I uh, one side at nine, but the other can't. The other side cannot be at nine. It has to be eight and a half. So I add one more in. So one has to be five, and one side has to be six. That's how I got my extra channels. I don't know, kind of weird, but that's how I did it. So you can tell right there that you can make them out of roach clips. Um, but anyway, that's about it. And then, like I said, remember, you go to tvfool.com and you can get your info from there. Uh, you type in your zip code and you'll be able to know. And then see where the towers are. Most of, the, most of my towers down here and some of them up here. The one that's over this side here is really far. I couldn't get those. Like only like two or three channels. I think two or three channels. And it's not even worth getting it. So I don't even care about the channels over here. I only care about the channels over here. And can channels over here. So. And there are some channels up here. But then I have to face. I have to face it all the way that way. In order to get those. But those channels even further. It's like 80 miles. I won't be able to get that with that. So when you go to tvfool.com. You draw this line out and you see where you are and then you can compare your location and that's how I got my location. You see that? So when you when you go there and you type in your zip code, this is where I am and this is east and this is west and this is north and this is south. Then draw the lines where you think where all the things are and what's your best location. And once you know that, then you will know where to, to face your antenna. And just like as I said right now, this antenna right now is facing south. But the, the, the antenna is like facing that way. It would probably be even better this way. So you can adjust these. Like right here, you would have to adjust this way. And you would have to adjust that way in order to get the true, see the true line that I cross right there and that's how I experiment around so which is good about it once you find your location 
and you clip on and everything, then you can make a permanent thing for it. But that's how I did it. But I using, as you can see, roach clip, and it works. So um, if you want to make one, um, I just use all these things is all free except for the ballon. Though all those I got those, but um, they come in like a package, and it's like ten for like two dollars. I think I got it for uh, ten roach clip for like two bucks. And I think Harbor Freight even got them even cheaper than that too. They have a whole package for like four dollars, um, three ninety nine for the whole package. You can play them around or whatever. So if you really count all the parts, it's under ten bucks. I mean, you can't. Those two right there, the 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 back of that, that's a dollar, and then that ballon right there was two dollars. And I got the whole package for two dollars. So it's two, four, five dollars. And then you can count these if you want. But these I just got like the base. I just got it from a paper towel thing. And then the 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 wood there I got it from my other project, which is free because you can't really use those short pieces anyway. So basically, it's like a five dollar thing, most. Not even five dollars, but I'm gonna count it as five dollars. But that's how I did it, and you can you can make literally just out of free stuff. But um, I've made I made out of forks. I've made out of knife too. I did a, a steak knife too, but I haven't I haven't got to really to a to a down to a T on that. So when I do, I'm gonna make another video that make you can you can make out of just steak knives. Anyway. Other than that, that's about it. I hope that is useful. And if you decide to make one and just play around or whatever, you can. Because obviously it does work. And it has to be stainless steel. I'm finding out that stainless steel works better than copper. I've seen people do, done copper. I have seen people done uh, other wires and stuff. I find copper does the best. So far, I mean, I'm sorry. Uh, stainless steel, something about stainless steel. And that's why I play with, uh, with steak knives. And steak knives, I was able to get a bunch of channels too. So um, on my next video, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a steak knife one. Anyway, other than that, that's about it. I hope this is helpful to you.